Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and welcome back to another haul. I went to Costco and I also went to PCC, which is a local kind of Whole Foods type of market here in the Seattle area or greater Seattle area. And I wanted to share with you what I got. Now, I did go during the crazy, crazy coronavirus uh, pandemic that we're experiencing right now. So it was a little bit crazy. I needed these items regardless, but I did just kind of witness all the craziness out there. And so I really do hope everyone is safe and that you're able to get all the necessary items that you need for your family. So with that said, if you love hauls, if you love Costco and PCC, please subscribe and keep watching. All right, welcome back. So let's first start with the PCC item since there isn't much that I got from there and it'll go by fast. So the first thing here, I've got a reduced fat veganaise. I bought one of these a long time ago and finally ran out. It lasts me forever because honestly, don't really use mayo, mayo uh, type of things in much. So this one is a reduced fat one and I figured that it would be good when I make kind of like my chickpea salad sandwiches, which by the way, I have not shared a recipe on. So I am excited. I'm still perfecting the recipe a little bit. And so once I do, I will share that with you. All. And then if you're ever curious about what I'm eating when I'm not filming, please do follow me on Life Taste Free Balance on Instagram. I share with you all of my lunch and dinner items that I have and sometimes even quick recipes. And then next from PCC, I've got this unsweetened vanilla yogurt. This is definitely my favorite brand that I've seen of the alternative yogurts. Everything else kind of has a funky taste to it. Kite Hill is a very popular brand for alternative yogurts, but I didn't really like that one. I like this so delicious one. It's by far our favorite. <laughs> a couple of other yogurts that I do like, Silk Brand. So this is another one that I've been trying and it's not bad. So I've got two flavors here, peach mango and strawberry. I like some of these flavored ones because, you know, just to jazz up our breakfast every once in a while. Cheeses. Now I definitely have discovered our favorite cheeses by being more plant-based and it is by far this chow, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this chow brand. And so I've got two different flavors here. I've got the creamy original, which I've tried and absolutely love. We've been loving it in our sandwiches. And then I'll show you what else we tend to put in our sandwiches. But then I saw this tomato cayenne with spicy peppers one. And I'm very, very curious now that I know I like this brand. And in general, this field roast brand, if you're into more plant-based items is awesome. I've had their sausages, I've had their string type of cheeses, I've had their tofurkey, everything. All those items that I've tried from them have all been really good. So I do really like this brand. But PCC is somewhere that I find a lot of these kind of, you know, unique items when you're searching for alternatives to meat. So I do like going in there when I do my Trader Joe's hauls or anything like that because it's right next door. And yeah, I, I love how the store is laid out. Everything is just so nice and fresh and organic and everything so I do like it but anyways that's where I got these two cheeses from all right and the next two items are tofurkey plant-based deli slices so I've got two here one that I've shared before the purple one is a new one but the back one the brown one is one that I've seen at Trader Joe's so I think I've gotten it before from Trader Joe's but this time around Trader Joe's didn't have it this one is a hickory smoked one and then the purple boxed one is just a peppered one and the peppered one is pastrami style we love these these are really really good since we're working from home I create sandwiches on the fly and a lot of times I'll put tofurkey slices that cheese slice and then grill it and it's been absolutely delicious on some sourdough bread and so I've been really liking this and I want to say that I actually like them better than deli meat so if you like deli meat but you want a plant-based alternative these are awesome highly highly recommend okay and the last item I got from PCC told you I didn't get much is this Sevia drink which is a zero calorie soda that is sweetened with stevia so thought it was interesting this is a black cherry flavored. They've got a lot of drink options. This one seemed interesting. You can find it at Fred Meyer and other grocery stores. So I am excited to try this one out and you know, just a little bit of a healthier choice if you wanna have soda. All right, so that's all my PCC items. So now moving on to Costco. First thing first 
is some frozen vegetables. Now, if things do go more south with the whole coronavirus, I figured why not have a stocked freezer? I don't have too, too much things, but I do like always having some frozen veggies. My last bag that I bought about a month or two ago is almost out, so I figured why not stock this up in case I don't have access to fresh fruits and veggies. Also got some mandarin oranges. These are so delicious. We've already ripped apart the bag, and so far I think I've had like three or four, but they are all the perfect amount of tartness and sweetness, which is what I love. Sometimes I get a big bag, and then for a couple months after that, we're over it because they're not always sweet, and I hate it when it's not sweet. So this time around though, we got lucky. All right, got a big bag of lemons because I wanna start adding lemons to my tea, to my drinks. I got some celery too over here. So you know that if you've watched my videos before that I've tried juicing celery and I really liked it. So I kinda wanna get back into it. That's why I got some more celery. That's why I got some lemon. I wanna put some lemon in it. I think I don't wanna do just strictly celery though this time around. I wanna add like ginger, lemon, some other ingredients, spinach, because I want it to be more like an immunity boost shot, like a variation of the ones that I've already shared on my channel. So that's why I got lemons. Got some bananas because love throwing them when they're frozen into my smoothies. Got a big bag of asparagus. I love just tossing this into a big frying pan with a little bit of garlic and oil, and then adding maybe a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of spices, even salt and pepper on its own. It's great. I just love when it's that perfect kind of al dente type of texture has a bite to it and it's nice and crispy. I love it. So I haven't had asparagus in a very long time, so I was kind of missing it. Not sure what happened to the top of this, but it's a big box of spinach. Spinach is something we go through very, very fast. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, my bad. Okay, so <laughs> uh, spinach is something we go through really, really fast because we throw it into our smoothies but I figured I would stock up. And if I can't get through this big box before it starts wilting or going bad at the bottom, I will just put them in the freezer so that it stays good. Avocado spray, this is basically the only spray that I use now. It's got no other ingredients, no repellent, so it's nice. It's a little stream of just avocado oil. Another huge bag of vegetables, this time broccoli. Love getting broccoli because I honestly love just steaming up a bunch of broccoli and having it with anything. So you can see that we love our fruits and vegetables here. <laughs> All right, running low on our brown rice. So I've got a big, big bag of brown rice. It's crazy because Costco was limiting everything to just two per customer. So that's any of these items you can only have two of. And I bet that's just because people were going crazy <laughs> right in the beginning of this whole corona virus stuff. So that's nice because I think people need to share the love. All right, this box is actually empty, but it is just my favorite almond milk. And this one is the vanilla almond milk unsweetened. I think I get the regular one, which they didn't have for some reason because I remember my box last time being blue, but this is fine. This is just vanilla. So I just have to be careful that I don't add it into like savory dishes, but that's it, it should be fine. And then the last item is this, eight cans of some diced tomatoes. Running low, I was actually just on my last can, and I just love throwing this into soups, into stews. If I am making chana masala and I don't have fresh tomatoes, I will put in a can of these, and it's an easy way of having tomatoes on hand all the time, so love having this. All right, there you guys go. That is my Costco haul, sprinkled in with a little bit of items from PCC. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I hope that you're safe and you and your family have all of the items that you need to stay safe and stay indoors. So if you guys love Costco, if you love hauls, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced.